Yeah, he hasn't won the last three or four. Yeah, no. The last veto he won was what? Um, the last one he won? Tumbling dice. And Tumbling then dice. Is your shot? Yeah. I just don't know which one I want to hit. Can't remember which one was the last one he won. Mm hmm. Can't remember. Hello, Fruit Loop Dingus. Welcome to the outside world. Fuck, fuck! All right, cool. Well, thanks. Jump it. Oh! Stop, 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 stop. No. Damn. Blind as a bat with no cock. Taking a page, another page out of Zach's book. Shooting the balls right off the table. Make those. You made that one. Wow. I was, like you, I was trying to hit and hit my three and just... Uh, why not just hit the five and then the three? I don't know. Frankie, yes. Please move your away. You're kind of connected to it. I know, but there's no, that's, there's no way around it. Get my three in, baby. Oh. Ooh, pulled it out. Not like it matters. Then I'll be all right. None at all. Nice. Ooh, I thought that was almost the end of your game. You gonna play winner? No, I'm John. Yo! Fuck! Damn! Yep. Awesome. Okay. That was a good game. We're always down to the eight ball, except in the last game when I beat you by three balls. Yeah, you beat me. Do you want lunch? Do you want salmon salad or something? No, I'm straight. I'm gay. All right, so if I told you I would never put you up and I would never vote you out, would that change your decision at all?
And I know you're telling me the truth. Because that, so, that's, what, that's what you did to, with Frankie. Right. And you're wondering why it didn't work. Right? Well, no. No, no, no. That's not what it is. I'm saying to vote. Like, for you to vote him out and over me. Oh, Cody? Yeah. Oh. No. Yeah, I mean, my, for me, no, nah, probably not. No. And it's, and it's, just like I said, man, it's, it's for my game. If it was for friends, I feel like I've been, you've been a, a, be, a bigger friend to me inside the house. We've connected more, all that good stuff. Like outside of the house, I could see you and me hanging out more Why than Why do you think Cody. it's better for your game that he stays over me? Because he's not straight lied to my face and tried to get me out of the house. And you have. You did I? Yeah, I mean, you and you and the little secret alliance that you guys had. He was in it too. <laughs> Who? Cody. <laughs> oh yeah, there's like twelve of you. At the at the end of the day, man, it's it's simply. I think for my game. When I look at when I look at my game and who I think would win and put me up, who would it be? I think it would be you. You think I'd put you up? I think you would put me up over him. Who do you, who because because you, you've already put an alliance member. All right, Cody. Outs, let's, outside let's, of okay, who do you think Co Cody has 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 their back over more? You or Derek? Who do I think Cody has their back over? Yeah, you who or do Derek? I think he would save over anybody. Yeah. Do you think he would he would have your back or Derek's back if it came down to it? I don't know. That's a tough one. It's an easy. It's an easy I, answer. I don't know. It's an easy answer. Cause he has Derek's back over yours any day of the week. Me, a different story. And Cody and I are not as close as you think we are. Yeah, I mean, you you guys at the very beginning were real close. In the very beginning, we were. Yeah, in yeah. the very beginning, y'all were inseparable. Yep. But now, just like you and Devin. Yeah, just like me and Devin. Right? Yep, he couldn't pull us apart. But thankfully, he's gone because he's done wrong by blowing us up. And that's, you know, and that's just uh, it's the nature of the game. People, you know, this is the thing. If I, even if I wanted to, and I voted to keep you, I would have people coming after me as soon as I didn't win the H O H because I went against the grain of what everyone wanted. Well, what if it wasn't going against the grain, though? Uh, if it wasn't going against the grain, it would. It would still be once again. Cody hasn't done anything personally to but to you, ruin but you, my to you, ruin my game. Okay, no, that I I understand that, but you think that. In all honesty, it's better for your game to keep him over me. Yeah, because if you want HOH next week, I, hey, I, when I, it comes I feel to, when like it you comes, would put me up. When it comes to us six, he, he has everyone's back over yours. Fact. Fact. He has Christine's back over your back. He has Derek's back over your back. He has Frankie's back over your back. Me, not the case. I hate Christine. Cody and I are not as close as you think. And I would have your back over Cody's back. I'd have your back over Christine's back. And I'd probably even have your back over Derek's back. But when it comes to Cody, he has Christine's back over yours. He has Derek's back over yours. And he has everyone else's back over yours. So I don't think it is best. I mean, this is, this is just coming from me. Well, of course. So it's you, it's, it's you trying to save your life in the game, which is yeah, understandable. But, 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 but I'm being honest. Frankie, do you, do you agree with me? No. You, you, really? No. What do you? What do you? Dis which one do you disagree about? When Cody walked into the room two weeks ago and said Caleb is the most fucking loyal person on the planet, I never want to get rid of him. Those words came out of his mouth. Agreed. He said, "There's never ever a reason to get rid of him." Those are the words that came out of his mouth. And that's why being loyal is important. You know, once again, Zach, I, do you I want... Still, do you still think he has Christine's back over Caleb's, though? Or you think he has Caleb's back over Christine's? Now. I mean, K Cody is such a flirt with every single girl in this house, and he's slit all of their throats. So, I don't know. What were you going to say, Caleb? 
I said I just want you to know at the end of the day, none of this is personal. Strictly. I know game. it's not I know it's not personal, but I'm not just gonna roll over and get No, and, uh-uh. and that's not what Nor should you. Yeah, that's not what you're supposed to do, for mm-hmm. sure. And it'd be bad TV. And I expect you to, because I would if I was in your position. I would I would probably say everything but lying and backstabbing before I left to, to okay. try to save my game. It is all about loyalty, but you know, there's only seven people left in this game, and you know, you can be loyal to all those people, but eventually you're gonna have to break that loyalty, am I right? Eventually. Okay, and he's breaking his loyalty with you first. How? Cuz, he has Christine's back over yours, he has Derek's back over that's yours. You, that's you just talking. All right, dude. I mean, it's, I mean, it's just simple as that. But, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to go up to Donnie and say. I know, say, but I'm not, I'm not making been, shit up, though. You know, you're going off an assumption. Well, you it's can't not, make shit f- up anymore because everything you say is going to be repeated. Like, well, I can still make shit up and still be repeated. I'm just, I'm not lying. What I'm, what I'm saying is. That's is, true. What I'm saying is, is. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to go up to Donnie and say, hey, Caleb said you're his number one target. Hey, you're supposed to. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, part not gonna, of the game. I'm not gonna make shit up though. Well, you're coming at me with a, with an assumption though. You're saying, well, well, he has Christine's back over yours. That's an assumption. That's not a fact. True. So for me, I listen to it. I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah. Zach was saying that you, you know, that you have her back over mine. Is it true or not? You can only show that. You can only show it mm-hmm. by you winning the next HOH who you put up. Then I will know. And then I'll take action with it. You know, if I if Cody wins HOH and puts me up and not Christine, I say, hey, maybe Zach was right. Maybe he was right. But the action speaks louder than words, you know. I know just one person all around who has done a lot to hurt my game more than once and members in the Alliance's game more than once and it was you over, you know, over him. So why would I want to choose you over him when he's done no wrong to me? Mm-hmm. And that and that was like why you up over Derek and Victoria because what have either one of them done to him personally in this game to ruin his game to put them up instead of you? So, you know, at the, at the end of the day, it's... It's all. It's an eye it, for an eye. I mean, you know, he was he wanted me out of the house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you you, you de- definitely both. If people yeah. are gonna get thrown under the bus, just make sure we're there. You know, so we're not doing it behind their backs. Okay. Let's do it. All right, cool. Throw people under the bus. Okay. While we're standing here, go for it. No, I'm out here now, so I would like to hear it. All right. So go for it. All right, we'll continue our conversation. So Frankie was the one who went, you know, after me. So. I'm not the only person that did that. No. The thing is, is Frankie did not put up an alliance member after everyone told him not to. Like, my thing is, is Devin done it, and you see where he's at. Mm-hmm. You've done it, and look where you're at. You're, mm-hmm. st- you're in the jury house. Devin's not. Mm-hmm. And you, you've been up twice since then, and you're still not going home. That is loyalty of your members saying, you know what? Yeah, Zach's done wrong, but let's bypass that. It happened. Mm-hmm. You're done wrong. And, yo, I'm not throwing you under the bus. I'm just campaigning to stay. Like, I'm not just going to roll over and... Yeah, I understand that, but... He just said... The, all only, I... the only thing he said was that you have Christine's back and everyone's back over mine. That's all, that's what I said. That's what he said. I'd say that to your face. So, okay. Well, I thought you were throwing me under the bus. Okay. I, Frankie came out and was like... Uh, I'm, sh- I'm sure right he now. is. I'm sure he is. I'm not surprised. But no. I don't expect you to roll over. Like I'm I not going to. On the block. I'm not go- Why would I? No. And you're not supposed to. But if anything, don't try not to make friends in this house go against each other because that's all the stuff's out already. Just know anything that you say to any one of us will re- be repeated to all of us. You don't think I know that? No, I, I'm right. not stupid. Just you know that. I, I knew that. I mean, you might as well say it to us. But. And we've already experienced your multiple ways of getting us to hate each other. We've all experienced. That never happened. It has happened. What did I do to turn you two against each other? 
Me and Derek specifically? No, you and Christine versus Derek and Cody. How'd I do that? No, that was more Nicole and his. Yeah, dude, you're like just like finding excuses. But dude. I mean, like, like, uh, no, that, that particular situation, that was Nicole and Hayden trying to pull a fucking fast one on us. No, that was later. I mean, he started that earlier. Oh. What'd I do? Just by the way we became pitted against each other. Explain. I've already explained this to you like six times. By telling me that the three of you are working together, you immediately pit, you, you pit two groups of people against each other. By saying, yo, I'm in with these people, but really I'm in with you, you create dissension. Because now I'm thinking, every time you're talking to them... Right, well, you're the one that asked to be in a final three with me and Christine, though. Am I right? You... Did, I, did you not say that? No. You didn't say that? No. You said... That you three were in the final three. Okay. Which leaves what? What option does that leave me? You said, I'm in a final three with Derek and Cody, but really, what I want to do is go to the final three with you and Christine. I never said that. Did you did. You were the no. one who was like, you were the one who was doesn't like... It doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter, no. It doesn't matter? It doesn't matter, no, but... So you said that I, it was my idea to initiate the final three. I didn't three. initiate it. I sure didn't. Okay. So, you, what you're saying is you... You told me about the final three, but then I told you about that day three, two. dude. I told you about that the hour after it happened. Right, exactly. And by by saying that, you created the dissension between us. So then, if I was to have a final th three, like we were in, dude. we were in an alliance of five. You listen. This is this is this is you. Like I don't even know. I don't even understand how you could possibly be so stupid. We're in an alliance of five. You told us that these three are working mm -hmm. together. So then, who does that leave? Me and Christine. You said you want to work with me. So what does that mean? Three and three, and you're in the middle. So how is that me asking you for a final fucking three? I didn't initiate the final three. It's because it never existed. It didn't exist. We didn't talk about this multiple times. Final. There are five people. I, I get that, dude. You were I'm in not the final three with these people. There are two people left out. You say you want to work with us. That's fucking final I, three. Final three. But I didn't initiate it. Is what I'm it's saying. A, who the fuck cares who initiated it? You did initiate it by by pitting us against each other. So I was supposed to say, uh, dude, you're you initiated you're it. You're running around in circles, dude. You're a great talker. You really are. And like everyone believes everything you say and you lie a lot. And you do manipulate a lot of people. And you're, again, you're a great talker. But you're running around in circles around my head right now. And you're not getting anywhere. Well, you're, you're not getting to the point. Not a great talker. And a very, very prolific liar. I'm a prolific liar? Yes. You are. And anything and you I'm say not to a anyone You said I'm not a great talker? Not as good as me. Fucking talk you down any fucking day of the week. I mean, if you're going to make this about me and you, I mean, it never was lost. about me and you. You've already lost. I know. So don't make it about me and you. Don't make it about any of us. Any of us. I mean, fight, of course. Do what you're going to do. Cause chaos and havoc, but just know that anything you say to anyone else is going to get back to them. And I have nothing to hide from anyone. The people that I have their back unequivocally in this game, they know who they are. I can say to you that I have a, I want a fucking final three to you and not mean a fucking word of it. Honestly, I can. I have that ability as a human being. So, but the people who I have their back, they know who they are. And nothing you can say can change that. And I did have your back. But things change in here every day. When I find out you're running around to Caleb, fucking yesterday, already throwing me under the bus, before I even put you up, how the fuck is that smart? How is that smart? Hey, I had nothing to lose at that point. You did have something to lose. No, I didn't. You had your life in this game to lose. It was already over. Well, then why the plea this morning? Because you were the one who came up to me pretending there was hope. No, I cuddled you because I love you as a person. You came up to me and you were like, I don't know what I'm going to do. No, no, no. Blah, blah, blah. You, you gave me false hope and that's why I'm so pissed right now. I came up and cuddled you and you looked at me and said, please don't put me up. And I said, you know I don't want to. Because you know I don't want to. I don't buy as that. As a human being, I didn't want to. Okay, fine, Kathy. As a human being, it wasn't a decision. It was a... It was a De decision that weighed de heavily on my person. But no for my game, and I didn't know at that point what you said to Caleb yesterday. I didn't. I found out after the fact that I already decided to put you up. What, how he was the other backdoor plan? Yeah, I don't even know. What, the, what does that mean? It means that if it wasn't Amber, it was Caleb. 
Because we were deciding between Amber or Caleb. What? What do you mean, what? <coughs> that happened. I don't even remember that. Oh, okay. I mean, if it's true, then maybe it was something that you wanted to have happen, and I said, sure, but I don't even remember that at all, to okay. be honest with you. Okay. Amber or Caleb? What? Do you remember that? What? <laughs> that Caleb was the other ab backdoor option? The week of Amber? That Caleb was the other backdoor option the week of Amber. It was either Amber or Caleb. We were deciding, do we get rid of Amber first or Caleb? Did that not happen? I mean, honestly, for me, Amber had to go. That's, that, was the, that was the sole purpose was yeah. Amber had to go. And oh, I see what you're saying. I remember now. Yeah, dude. What Whatever. you were saying. Hey, dude, it doesn't matter, dude. Like, like I said, you're way smarter than me. You can, you can literally come at me. I don't want you to come at I me. I don't want to come at you either. No, but, you're, but it's fine, dude. Like, like, no, whatever, I don't dude. want to. I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to try to campaign. Obviously, it's not going to work. I have nothing to lose, so whatever. It's just going to make things worse for me. It's going to make things worse for me. So. Right. And I'm not an idiot, so fuck you. So. I don't think you're so an whatever. idiot. You just call me an idiot. It's fine. No, I didn't. I said you're a prolific liar, but you don't always don't have lie, the mouth to back dude. it up. I don't up. lie to anyone. And when I do lie, I fucking admit it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't lie to anyone, dude. But everyone's gonna believe what they want to believe, and I, I can't change anyone's mind, so it's, it's whatever, dude. I'm not saying don't go down without a fight, I'm just saying it would be nice to enjoy this time together. Because you're going home anyway. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Zach, you gonna lay out? Huh? Caleb? It's too hard for me. Huh. And I'm about to come after this freaking sauna suit. 